Vajasanei Samhita Upanishad Sometimes called Ishavasya or Ishopanishad Translation from F. Max Muller's Sacred Books of the East Volume 1 Verse 1 all this whatsoever moves on earth is to be hidden in the Lord that is the self when you have surrendered all this then you may enjoy do not covet the wealth of any man verse 2 though a man may wish to live a hundred years performing works it will be thus with him but not in any other way work will thus not clinch to a man verse 3 there are the worlds of the asuras covered with blind darkness those who have destroyed their self that is who perform works without having arrived at a knowledge of the true self go after death to those worlds verse for that one that is the self though never stirring is swifter than thought the devas that is the senses never reached it it walked before them though standing still it overtakes the others who are running Matarishwan that is the wind or the moving spirit bestows powers on it verse 5 it stirs and it stirs not it is far and likewise near it is inside of all this and it is outside of all this verse six and he who beholds all beings in the self and the self in all beings he never turns away from it verse 7 when to a man who understands the self has become all things what sorrow what trouble can there be to him who once beheld that unity verse 8 he that is the self 
encircled all bright incorporeal scathless without muscles pure untouched by evil a seer wise omnipresent self existent he disposed all things rightly for eternal years verse 9 all who worship what is not real knowledge that is good works or avidya or rites as in rituals enter into blind darkness those who delight in real knowledge that is vidya or meditation and enter as it were into greater darkness verse 10 one thing or result they say is obtained from real knowledge that is vidya another that is another thing or another result is achieved they say from what is not knowledge or avidya thus we have heard from the wise who taught us this verse 11 he who knows at the same time both knowledge and not knowledge overcomes death through not knowledge and obtains immortality through knowledge verse 12 all who worship what is not the true cause that is unmanifested or prakriti enter into blind darkness those who delight in the true cause or the manifested or hiranyagarbha enter as it were into greater darkness verse 13 one thing they say is obtained from the knowledge of the cause or the manifested another they say from the knowledge of what is not the cause that is the unmanifested thus we have heard from the wise who taught us this verse 14 he who knows at the same time both the cause and the destruction overcomes death by destruction and obtains immortality through knowledge of the true cause verse 15 the door of the true is covered with a golden disk open that 
O Pushan, that is the sun, that we may see the nature of the true. Verse 16 O Pushan, only seer, Yama, Surya, son of Prajapati, spread thy rays and gather them. The light which is thy fairest form, I see it. I am what he is, namely the person in the sun. Verse 17 Breath to air and to the immortal then this my body ends in ashes om mind remember remember thy deeds mind remember remember thy deeds verse 18 agni lead us on to wealth that is beatitude by a good path you O God who knows all things verse 19 